All right, what's up everyone? Today's video, I am filming on my cell phone. So hopefully the audio is not too bad for you. It's my mistake. I have my camera right here, uh, but I was editing the video at my house, so I left my memory card there. Anyways, I, I digress. I apologize. I'm doing this on my phone. Uh, but today's video is all about testing out the new Chemical Guys, um, I think it's called the Too Faced Wheel Cleaner. It's right here. Uh, and I was really, really excited when I saw that they brought this out because one of my biggest complaints is that Chemical Guys just has so many different products. I didn't, I'm not familiar with their entire lineup, but I was happy to see that they came out with a wheel cleaner that has an iron remover built in. Come to find out, I did a little more research. They do have a, a iron removing wheel cleaner already, but this one is cheaper. Uh, this one has more of a gel kind of cling to it. Um, I've been testing it out today. I'll show you guys some video of that as well. I could, it was on two very clean vehicles that I maintain on a weekly basis. So not a lot of reaction there. Uh, one of them was chrome, the other one was black and silver. So not a lot of reaction, but now I have this vehicle here. So this vehicle actually belongs to one of my neighbors here at my shop. And he has some wheels from, these are factory wheels from a Kia Telluride on this Honda. Um, so as you can see, they're very dirty. He said they have never been cleaned. So I think this should be a very, very good test for this product. So how we're gonna do this is we're gonna compare the new Chemical Guys Too Faced wheel cleaner coming in at $15 for 16 fluid ounces up against Ultimate All Wheel Cleaner from Meguiar's. This is kind of varies in price, but 10 to 15 bucks for a 24 ounce uh, bottle. So value wise, it's here, but we're gonna test these side by side to see which one works better. I, like I said, I have been playing with this one today on a couple of customer vehicles. I really like how it clings to the surface. So we're gonna take both of these, and I also have my wheel brush and my um, barrel blade there that will, the first wheel that we're gonna do, we're exclusively going to spray the product on and let it sit. We'll do uh, the right side with the Chemical Guys, the left side with the Meguiar's, and then just let them dwell. The surface of the vehicle or of the wheel is not hot at all, so we're good to go there. We're just gonna spray it on 50-50, let it dwell for as long as we can. We don't want it to dry under the surface, but we want it to have its you know, full reaction, and then we'll rinse it away. Let's go ahead and start off with the first one. It's on spray. Always, guys, glove up. Um, and with, the, with um, cleaners, wheel cleaners that have the iron remover in it, you do want to remember that they will color change and that's the uh, active ingredient reacting with the iron on the surface of the wheel but that active ingredient also does smell so it's not bad at all with this product you do smell it a little bit but it's not bad you can see some tur uh, purple starting to turn here oh tons in here really lighten up let's go ahead and spray the ultimate wheel cleaner on the other side this one also does a good job of coverage and sticking onto the surface but it's a little bit more foamy versus this side's a bit more gel like so um not good or bad i well i i think both of them are doing a good job of staying on the surface i do like the gel a little bit more um but anyways we're gonna let that sit uh, as you can see the chemical guy side is having a lot of purple reaction the uh mcguire side is definitely starting to as well inside there as you can see it kind of just passed the little white foamy spots um but both definitely definitely having a reaction um if i was to say one was reacting more than the other, I would say the Chemical Guys is working more. It may just be a higher concentration of the active ingredient inside of it. So we're just gonna go ahead and let this dwell. Like I said, I'm not gonna let it dry onto the surface, but I want it to have enough time to kind of penetrate and break everything down. Then we'll simply rinse it off with a pressure washer and uh, see where it lays. Now, as we're waiting for those ones to just dwell, well, let's go ahead and talk about the vehicles I worked on earlier today. One of them was a Lexus. Again, it had chrome wheels. I sprayed it on there, again, did the 50-50, same kind of deal, uh, right side with the Chemical Guys, left side with the Meguiar's. And I have to say, the Meguiar's side didn't turn as much purple as the Chemical Guys side. Now, why is that? Um, iron removers and that type of product is the most, one of the most expensive within the detailing industry. That chemical just costs a lot of money, so when the active ingredient is in there, it costs money. Um, I think, uh, and I don't know this for sure, but it seems to me that the Chemical Guys uh, Too Faced Wheel Cleaner will, probably has a higher concentration of the active ingredient than the Meguiar's. Again, I don't know that for sure, and it may not matter to you if you're uh, doing, um, you know, if you're agitating your wheels anyway, but I think that is the, the result of it. So um, as you can see with this chrome wheel, it cleaned up very, very nicely. Neither side left a lot of uh, a residue on it. It all looked good. 
the wheel isn't terrible in the first place, but just wanted to kind of bring it to your guys' attention. Now let's go back to the other wheel. So a little more time has passed now. The Meguiar side is really starting to pull out a lot of stuff too. It's a little more blotchy, like it looks like it's pulling up more versus the Chemical Guys one because it's that full gel. It looks like it might be doing a better job of actually doing like full surface coverage. I don't know, uh, just kind of things that I'm noting right now, that versus that. All right guys, so I'm out, about to rinse this off. Just really wanted to make a quick note is on the directions for the new Chemical Guys wheel cleaner, it does state, note for heavily contaminated and neglected wheels you may need to repeat steps or use a brush to agitate not for use on matte or uncoated wheel types all right here we go all right guys so let's go ahead and go in and inspect um right off the bat neither of them got it all right as you can see that's left over from the chemical guys that's left over from the mcguire's I personally would have to say though that the chemical guys actually did a little bit better here. Let me go ahead and dry off the surface and then we'll look at it. All right, so neither of them, like I said, neither of them pulled at all. It's significantly better than it was. Um, and I would say the chemical guy side did do better, but does that really matter? Because no matter what we have to agitate. So do I really care? Not, uh, I mean, if I have to agitate anyway, it doesn't matter which one did slightly better. Uh, let's go ahead and do that though. I'm gonna load up half and half again and then we'll agitate and get it all cleaned up. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and, and, and re-inspect them now. These wheels are not in like the best shape, right? Like I said, he said he's never uh, never cleaned them in the past. A little bit of road rash there, stuff on the sides. Now, as far as inside here, the chemical guy side looks like it did a little bit better inside there. I did agitate, um, but it looks like it loosened it up a little better over there. Um, overall though, you know, both sides look very good now. They're nice and clean, iron contamination's removed, uh, all the dirt, brake dust is all, is all gone. You do have to agitate with them, at least when they're at this level. Um, but either way, I think both of them actually turned out really well. So where does that leave me? Um, to be perfectly honest with you, between these two, I actually like the chemical guys a little bit better. Um, I like the gel formulation of how it sticks onto the surface. You can actually get into the wheel well, you know, you wanna get that inner barrel cleaned up as well, and this will stick to the roof of it. Um, the Meguiar's does a decent job of that too, with that foaming cling action. Um, and again, I. Man, it's hard to beat the value of this. I think at my local Walmart, it was like 10, 11 bucks, I think. I'll double check that, um, but for 24 ounces, incredible deal. Cheaper price and you get more product. So it's really up to you. I think um, I think both products do a great job, And uh, but I am happy to see that Chemical Guys came out with a cheaper product than what they had before and it does do a good job. Again, I really like that gel cling to it. So. Um, that's it for today's video guys really simple one just wanted to compare those two um, and see which one may work best for you um, on that budget and very 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 readily available type of wheel cleaner with an iron river so that's it i hope that video helps you please make sure to like the video make sure you subscribe turn on that notification bell and we'll see you on the next one